Okay, welcome to the first episode of the new season of Gaming With Ourselves. Sonic the Hedgehog 4, episode 2. It's a, it's a Rambo title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't uh, think you're hearing things. We actually have a new person joining us. If you haven't uh, already watched the intro. <laughs> I'm not things. Uh, create new game data, yes. Alright. Oh, it's multiplayer in this one. I think uh, we'll just do a single. Download content. No more. <laughs> Hopefully this one's not as frustrating as the first one. Only change oh boy. the... The DLC is uh, make Sonic run fast, otherwise he just walks. <laughs> Find a good Sonic game. Oh, the first one, or episode one was okay. Yeah. Wow, they really like to make sure you it's, you know, remnant of the second one. Yeah, now, because doesn't he like fly in on a plane on the second one as well? If bombs would drop out from underneath the F part, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic F bombs. All right. Oh boy. Here we go. We're in back here. Nope. Holy shit! They upgraded. How the... far back does it go? <laughs> Holy shnikey! Okay, there's a free man back here. <laughs> Looks like he starts running faster than he did in the first one. I think that was a complaint of the first one. They fixed it. God, yeah, it took him forever to start moving. You know, here, I'll let you try it out. Yeah, let me feel that. Because <laughs> I know how much you didn't like it. Uh, Get on a flat plane, not on a slope. This one, they just gave Sonic some meth. They... Now try it. No. No? But if you... Yeah, it still has about the same feel. It's just you can... Some of it's a little different. But... I mean, it's better than episode one, but it's still kind of... Still one fucking bu button pony. <laughs> Well, like I said, I think that was always the original, wasn't it, Aaron? You only need one button for Sonic? Yep. Yeah. But you do have this... I don't know if you have this... Did we have the spin dash in the Yeah. Okay. It looks like so they did... Oh. Were these, like, actual... new Sonic games, or was it kind of like a remaster type deal? Almost. They are brand new, but yeah, they have... What do you call it? Uh, familiar scenery. Yeah, familiar but... to remind you of what they were okay. going for. At least they didn't try to make it 3D. No. They knew what brought them there. They knew to keep it to the... Oh, you gotta use uh, Tails for this. Oops. Oh, okay. Oh, now you can actually use Tails. Well, he wasn't in the first one. I know, I mean, like, in 2, I don't know if you could use Tails like that in Sonic. Oh, no, 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 no. Sonic 2. No, no. He was just an extra hit. That is pretty cool. Except... What is Sonic Jesus jump. Christ? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool to see that. So, overall, what are your impressions of this one? Compared to the episode 1. That's uh, so a little bit better. Far, it's a little bit better. I mean... I mean, the graphics... It feels closer to a... You know, a Sonic than... The, the episode one did. Well, I know mostly to you because you're familiar with the second one more yeah. than you are the first one. That's yeah, so since we have Aaron here, what are your uh, thoughts on Sonic overall, Aaron? Sonic was one of the games that made me look at Sega, uh, and and that's why I bought a Game Gear uh, was to play Sonic. But by the time I, like, started to get money on my own to be able to buy things, and I was thinking about, you know, buying the latest Sega console and getting the Sonic game, something happened to where the developers just did, must have did boatloads of coke and completely killed it. Because <laughs> there was, like, that Sonic racing game that was awful. Hey, you made it. Oh, yeah. Um, they tried to do that ripoff of Mario Party, which was terrible. <laughs> then there they was tried then... a, a racing game and 
Yeah, uh, and then there was like the whole RPG style Sonic, where not not an RPG, but like it kind of looked like the beginning of a Final Fantasy game, and Sonic's in it. I don't know uh, what that one was. Hey, I remember this. This is just like the Sonic 2 bonus stage. A and B for spin jump, X and Y to boost Sonic. I remember you gotta collect the rings on the side and avoid the spikes? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's just reminiscent of uh, Sonic 2. But yeah, I remember you can move left and right. Just remember to avoid the spikes and then they show up. Yeah. If they show up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we, we talked about it in episode one of uh, Sonic that, you know, we were big fans of the 2D games, and I think the last 3D one that I played was Sonic Adventure, and it was okay. I mean, it, was, I mean, it wasn't bad, but I didn't play Sonic Adventure 2 or anything after. It just seemed like, from what everything I read, that it just fell off, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm always a big fan of the... The 2D one, Sonic CD, I think is awesome. This mm -hmm. this this reminds me of 3D World Runner. <laughs> <laughs> Get 150 rings. I already got them. I think you gotta keep them. Oh, see, electrical things, man. Yeah. This is just the tutorial ones. Oh, okay. I mean, the first one on Sonic 2 was always really easy. It's just, yeah, each uh, bonus stage gets harder and harder. And I think you have to do it on two to get the Chaos Emeralds, so you can go supersonic. I think so, yeah. Did you ever watch the uh, the cartoon? Unfortunately, yes. A little bit. Did you know that Sonic was voiced by Urkel? That I did not know. Yep. Yep. That's Urkel. Urkel. Did you ever see that big uh, online collaboration, like, real-life Sonic thing they released? few years back. Uh, you talking to me or you either one of him? Um, I think so. They actually got him to voice it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it had, yeah. like, the Nostalgia Critic. I think James yeah, was in Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had the Anger Video Game Nerd in it. Yeah, a bunch of, on, a bunch of online people got together. To they had a CG Sonic, and uh, they still got Earth to do the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Since you're unfamiliar with this one, Aaron... Apparently you can pick any stage you want and go from there. You don't have to go in order. Oh, nice. this one you do. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought it just said you, you unlocked a different one. I unlocked the special stage. Oh, the one you just did. Okay, never mind. Take, take back what I said then. Yeah, the other one you could... The other one you could. I could go to the other areas right off the bat. It's just you have to beat them eventually to get yeah. to the final one. But you don't have to go, you know, like Green Hill Zone... But so far, like I said, I'm I'm not dis it doesn't look too disappointing to me. I mean it's alright. It's not good episode two. So far I'd say it better than episode one. Ooh. Does the mechanics feel any different to you at all? Nah, it's no? still got it's just... the It still has the same mechanics except for you can control tails now, but except you can't do it on water. But or can you? Yeah, it looks like you oh, have you to. Can. So you don't drown. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. You can, oops, do stuff with tails. Yeah. But hey, there you go, disability. Do they still Hi. have the bubbles underwater that you gotta get? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he actually just grabbed one a minute ago. That is like the most haunting music. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun. It's like, oh, where's my air bubble? <laughs> and this the sound he makes when he drowns. It's like... It's <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to the new Sonic game that's coming out next year. Actually, both of them. The one that's supposed to, like... It takes all the best Sonic games and remixes it into one. Like, it takes Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and CD... It takes like the best levels. Ooh, I don't think you lose all your five. There you go. I don't think Those you lose... run out of here. Sorry, what? I don't think you lose all your rings when you get hit. Really? Yeah, I think you only lose some. Um, could be wrong. But actually, and I think they're making an actual uh, new 3D Sonic game that's supposed to actually be good. 
I was reading a thing that uh, um, okay, either either EA or Bioware was looking at uh, games to remaster, and Mass Effect might get the treatment. I was gonna ask, what's your opinion on that? Dang it, do you think we should be getting all these remasters? I don't. I mean, like Mass Effect to me doesn't need to be remastered. I know the graphics are older, but I don't think oh. that they're oh. to the point of like like Resident Evil needed to be remastered. I think, you know, with those original PlayStation graphics. Yeah, yeah. but that I, to me, though... I, I think Resident Evil Two should also get the treatment. But some of the games, I just don't understand the purpose of them remastering. Especially for me, PS2 on games that just that came out within this last decade. You know, they're already remastering. I mean, yeah, like I like like, oh, like God of War and all that. It's like, do you really need to be in HD and all that? Like, it's not bad the way it was. But I feel like everything wants everybody wants everything remastered, and it's like. To me, I like the way they are because it's like a moment in time when, you know, that was acceptable. Yeah. And I feel like it loses its uh, its art style when, when uh, they keep updating it. But, I, I think, mean, some, some do need them, I agree. I think if they were able to do the remasters, like, um... And, I mean, it would probably be a huge undertaking, I'm sure, but, like, you know, Day of the Tentacle just came out and it's remastered. But if you want to... You can go. You can switch the graphics in the options menu to make it look just like it did when it was released. Okay, that is cool. I actually like that. It's like you Mega know, Man, like Mega Man Nine, for instance. You know, they could have made it HD and you know all uh, special and all that. But I like the fact they kept it eight bit and just try to remind you, you know, what what it was all about. Because, like I said, NES actually surprisingly, you know, the graphics have aged beautifully to me. Mm -hmm. But like but yeah, you said, the... if you look at early PlayStation games, they, they they don't they don't age as well. Yeah, and that's why I feel like the, the Resident Evil remaster, especially oh. with the dialogue, that was a good choice. But yeah, like Monkey Island, um, the uh, Grim Fandango, Day of the Tentacle, they all have the option to like play in their old graphic style if you want to. So yeah, I think they should always have that as an option. That That's kind of that... why I was I was disappointed with the DuckTales remaster because when that came out, it's like, oh, sweet, and I could play it in the old school? No. And yeah, a lot of people were disappointed with that. Yeah, and I was kind of thinking, like, okay, even if you didn't want people to have that option right off the bat, at least make it as a thing where if you beat the game, then you can unlock it, or you could buy it with the coins because they have I coins agree. in there to unlock stuff. That totally would have been agree. a cool idea. I totally agree with that. Yeah, because like when people talk about like, oh, let's let's Probably remaster uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers three. People said, and I'm like, no, no, yeah. I wouldn't want to see that remastered. I like they've that. already technically done it, you know, once with All Stars. Yeah. So I was like, to me, it, the eight bit version is just fine. Like I said, I kind of like trying to preserve the way the way it was. Mm-hmm. It's like Atari 2600 games. Would they look better in HD? Yeah, but to me that's part of the charm. It's just, you know, you, you play games like that and, you know, that, that was acceptable. And I don't see why, you know, it can't be any different today than it was when it came out. I mean, yeah, Bubsy 3 being an exception because, well, one, it's a bad game, and two, <laughs> it, has, it, it doesn't, it's not graphically that appealing. Yeah, I couldn't believe when they remastered the Splinter Cell games. I'm like, really? Uh, yeah. Like I said, for me, like, PlayStation 2 on doesn't really need that much of a remaster or update graphics. No. The only thing, I, I, only thing I'm in favor of is that people who didn't get to play it can play it now. You know, like, they missed the, their chance on it, and now it's harder to get. Oh, yeah. Though I will That's say... I, 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 as much as I love Wind Waker, the HD version like fucking just blew me away <laughs> with how yeah, awesome a lot of people it looks and... love that that was like one game where it was like hey we're gonna make this in HD and it's gonna be a remaster thing, it's like 
Uh, okay, I, I, I support this, most definitely. <laughs> oh, you have to actually have beaten the uh, special zone to be able to do it again. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to say, hey, maybe I can actually go in. And... Alright. <sighs> Ready to give it a shot, Matt? Actually, I'll let you finish this one. Right. Looks like there's a lot of levels. Oh, no, that was the special that stage. That was the special stage. Mind. See if I can get this level. But done. now that you've actually played a little bit more, you actually like it just a little bit more? It reminds me of two. Okay. Now, they definitely did okay. Hey, Matt, you know what they need an HD version of? What? Pong. <laughs> that Hell way, yeah. instead of being a square, it could actually be a circle this time. <laughs> what, what is that one? Uh, they made on PlayStation Pong the next level. I heard that was pretty decent. I actually never heard of that. Really? Just look yeah. into it. it. It's interesting. Rolling combo. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. This game has some interesting ideas. At yeah. least you didn't die there. Yeah. You know what's weird about the like seeing a game like this though, is it, it's a new, new gen type game, mm -hmm. and you look at the background, and you know they have all these things, but for some reason on Super Nintendo when they would try to, you know, have backgrounds like that, if you take a look at like Super Castlevania Four, there mm -hmm. was so much going on in the background. And here it's like they're just like, eh, we'll throw some ruins. <laughs> but you like know, they didn't, they didn't if try it wasn't to for uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I don't think they probably would even wasted their time on this one. Because <laughs> you know, everything Mario has done, Sonic has tried, or at least they've tried to have Sonic do, and it's not oh, yeah. the same result. Yep. And I was telling Josh in episode one that uh, you you could I, I, it's so weird to see how they bastardized uh, Sonic. You know, I was thought they would be like Mario, where they wouldn't release it unless they felt it was worthy of that name. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean. And, 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 and to clarify my comment, too, about the background, that's not to say this game isn't good-looking. The foreground stuff is really You're cool. saying there's Sonic so much more they detailed. could put in it, right? Yeah, it's like it's like they kind of got a little lazy when it came to the background. They didn't put as much to make it as appealing as it could have been. Yeah. Um, we were just playing Super Mario Bros. 3 the other day on uh, uh, All-Stars. And I didn't realize how much they actually put in detail in the backgrounds for the uh, update of that game. You know, before it's just, you know, like a black or a gray background or something blue. It's yeah. like they actually put, you know, I, uh, stuff in the background. Like the water levels, you could see like, you know, ruins and uh, like uh, houses and stuff. I was like, wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool for, you know, a Super Nintendo game. Yep. No. Got lucky there. Yeah, stuff like Donkey Kong go. Country, Super Castlevania 4, they always had really detailed like backgrounds. Yeah. So overall, what are your impressions of this game, Aaron? It looks like standard Sonic fun. Like, it looks like an actual fun game. Actually, I was going to say, not to uh, start off it again, but Josh was into it the first the first yeah. Sonic, first episode one, and then Towards later the he got pissed off at him. Like, I don't want to <laughs> jinx it and say, looks like Josh is enjoying this one more. But... <laughs> Alright, I'll say I'll give this a quick uh, Probably try. Probably an episode after this. Yeah, I actually did a super long episode for our first season. Well, we got Aaron here, so... yeah. We got carried away. <laughs> Hopefully, everybody enjoys the change. I don't. You guys are gonna let me eat tonight, right? Ooh. All depends on <laughs> depends on how many views. This yeah. Gets. 
Please watch this so I can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll otherwise, get food. otherwise, Josh makes me go outside and drown through the trash cans. Oh wow, you're gonna be that generous? And then his wife thinks I'm a raccoon, and then she gets the gun. Wow, I, I thought you still kept him in the dungeon, and you brought him, you know, gruel to eat. Well, Aaron, you just lost luxury. <laughs> you weren't supposed to let him know. <laughs> well, now know. the people know. <laughs> so now but Aaron doesn't even get that special Who was one person I told you not to let know I was actually being nice to you? Matt. Now he knows. I sorry, Matt, Master. Knowing half the torture. I, I clean socks more. <laughs> You're really good at these bonus stages. I don't think you've ever got hit once, have you? Inside. Are they that easy, or are they just... Uh, it's not too hard. I've had a lot of practice on Sonic 2. I've played a crap load of Sonic 2. But yeah, it's not that hard yet. Yeah, like I said, they're still... Usually the first two or three are really basic, just to get you the kind of a... I mean, oh, this is your window. third stage, though, isn't it? This is still the second stage. Oh, oh, okay. I failed the first, the second one. Oh, I, did, I didn't know you failed it. Yeah. I, did, I was missing, like, two rings to get past the next part. But... Oh, okay. Now I have the second gym. Doing much better than I did in the first one. First one but every ring this. that <laughs> Tails gets, when he gets hit, he doesn't lose, right? I think he will. Oh, he will? Yeah. Okay, so he got 17 total. All right, All right well, well. So far, I... Hopefully it's been an interesting episode for everybody. Yeah. Including the viewers. It's uh, definitely different having uh, Aaron here. Maybe he can cool Josh's jet when he gets angry at the game. <laughs> Hopefully that's not happening uh, too quickly. Yeah. But uh, even though we've got you know, Aaron added in, there's still always room for one more. Yeah. There's still always room for one more. Thank <laughs> you.